video, welcome back and welcome to those who are new. Real quick before we get started, be sure to subscribe for weekly videos below. Today we're making shepherd's pie. Yes, another cooking video. I told you I will be bringing them, so I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. So here's what you'll need, a nice casserole dish. I got about three russet potatoes for the mashed potatoes, some cheese to go on top, some beef bouillon to add to my meat. I'm using ground chuck. If you prefer to use ground beef, that's just fine. A chicken bouillon cube, I'm adding that to my mashed potatoes for a little bit of richness. Your favorite blend of seasonings and a bag of mixed vegetables of your choice. I'm cutting up my potatoes now to prepare them to boil and make some delicious mashed potatoes. You want to get those started early. Make sure you're cutting them nice and even. Here's some cut onion. This is optional. I had them in the freezer so I'll just add them. Time to add the seasonings to your brown chuck. Have about a tablespoon of beef bouillon. Add it to your onions and your seasoning mix. Along with a half a cup of water. You want to stir that up and let it all simmer. I know, not the most attractive, but trust me, it's delicious. Mm, if there are a thing called smell of vision this would be the time to have it. Next we're going to add our frozen vegetables. Be sure to mix them in well. Go ahead and cut your heat and set aside. Now is a good time to go ahead and set your oven to 350-375. By now you should have drained your potatoes. You're going to need evaporated milk, some butter, and a nice masher or a whisk. You want to make sure they're well blended. They could be soupy or lumpy or clumpy, however you like them. Just know that they're going to thicken while they're baking. Add your meat to the bottom layer of the casserole dish. And then you're going to spoon your potatoes on top. Now that just looks delicious. After you add your potatoes, you're going to sprinkle or add a layer of cut cheese on the top. Add a little sprinkle of extra seasoning on the top and bake in the oven for an hour to an hour and a half. Make sure the top is brown but not burnt. Mmm. I decided to add a little bit of cheddar along with that polvalon. And there you have it. A delicious shepherd's pie. Perfect for dinner or for lunch this week. The leftovers are great. <laughs> I see you already dug in. Make sure you save me some. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and don't forget to subscribe.